What is going on, you guys? It is your boy MC. I am back. My Hero Academia Season 6, Episode 18. We only got seven more weeks left of My Hero Academia. I feel like we are, like, because I think literally the next month is the last month of My Hero Academia, and then eventually Demon Slayer will be coming and so much more stuff. I know we got a couple more weeks left with Tokyo Revengers, so we just... We're just going. We're just like, it's, it's crazy that we're literally almost going to be done with all this stuff soon. We're going to be getting into the spring. So it's absolutely crazy. But speaking of crazy, last week, I'd say that that episode was at least probably right under the toy reveal as one of the best episodes in this entire season. That episode was so good. Don't get me wrong. A lot of the war stuff is really, really good so far. But just really everything in that episode, story the visuals like everything even the music a little bit just everything in that episode was so so good with the entire toya origin and just everything that was shown in there was just absolutely beautiful and i absolutely loved it i thought it was a 10 out of 10 episode last week now i am curious on what is going to happen in this episode especially with the cliffhanger that happened last week with the vestiges maybe i don't know deku's maybe probably talking to him right now so we're obviously going to see probably in here i surprisingly did not see the preview so i have no idea what is going to happen in here and and yeah, that's just really much it. I have no other words to say other than to get straight into this episode. I hope you guys have been having a really, really good week and in the last past couple days, because I know I've been waiting for this specific episode, seeing just whatever else is gonna happen. So without any further ado, let's just get straight into it. If you guys are new to the channel, you guys like my reaction, like, subscribe, comment down below. And if you guys want to be notified and release those videos, definitely smash that notification bell. But with that being said, let's get right into the episode. <laughs> A lot. A lot. Alright, we're heading back. We actually are talking. Huh. Oh, what is this? Is that... Oh, the second and third users. We still don't get to know their faces, damn it. Are you serious? Started to grow rapidly. Huh. Not even only one. <laughs> you don't have a mouth. I bet he wants to say a lot right now. Uh, hey, you can talk now, thank God. The fourth wielder, Akage Shinomori. So this is Danger Sense. Okay, all right. It was so sudden that it surprised me. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Good way to show it off. <laughs> oh, this is cool. This is funny. I love this. Yeah, cause of death. We never got to find out about that, but it was crossed out. Yep. It looks like All Might either wasn't sure or... Really? Maybe. But what was it? Are we going to know about it? The old age was basically... Because I had multiple quirks in one body. Huh. Huh. Which I thought we knew about. <laughs> it's been a while, trust me. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. And it overflowed and warped. 
Hold on to one for all for 40 years. This vessel was empty. Huh, okay. Hmm. So he is the final user. Huh. Damn. Fewer people might have suffered. You might be the last wielder of one for all. Damn. What? Can you kill Shigaraki? Now we're getting into some interesting talks. And that's crazy coming from her. It's a matter of resolve. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Even under those conditions, those eyes didn't hold anything but hate. It's meant to destroy all for one. That's kind of what we've kind of been kind of knowing a little bit. My brother is tenacious. Within Shigaraki, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which... Just see so much that... Oh, that shot again. <laughs> That's what I'm kind of thinking. Like, I get it, but yeah. Have the resolve to stop him, even if you have to kill him. That's what it's going to come down to, because things are going to get worse. Things are going to get worse before, even if they get better. He looked like he was in trouble. Damn. Oh. They did not break. Mm-hmm. He did a lot. Hurt, killed, everything. Oh, that is a crazy shot. Oh. This isn't a power that's meant to kill. It's a power meant to save. Wow, he actually looked at him. Wow. Oh, wow. So he's still undecided. These visuals, man. Holy shit. <laughs> My body, no. Damn. Poor Nana, man. Thank God. <laughs> Tell him I said hi. We made a mistake in our decision. The score is really beautiful as well. Everything is, man. 
You two better start helping soon. I don't think it could. Mm, I don't know. Is he going to wake up? Is that? Hmm. <laughs> It's about one for all, Midori. Oh, God. Oh, God. Look at them peeking it. <laughs> We're not just fighting the villains, yeah, we're for, yeah. No, they probably won't. I'll tell you everything. Will he? Will he? Is this like a press conference that they're holding? Yep. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> that must have been brutal for him, but something that probably needed to be done. <laughs> people will agree, people won't agree. It's whatever. It's whatever on how they're going to see it, but... For the sake of the infiltration, yeah. <laughs> wow. Not even only Endeavor. Uh, is he going to mention twice? I thought at the time that it was my only choice. So he had to do what he had to do. We will reduce the area we need to... Hmm. Ah. Designated shelters. Hmm. Oh, man. That was a cool shot. I do, uh, oh, that's, oh, God. Marco. Them scars, man, them battle scars will be there forever. As this mother lover is loving everything. What is it? So is this the reason why he has to leave? So I'm writing letters to leave behind for all. Holy shit. So this is the reason why he has to leave. I mean more, but... Holy shit. Damn. <sighs> Damn, man.
God, there's so much going into it, man, for real. Left, oh man. Is that it? <gasps> oh, that shot, the shot that we've all been waiting for. Oh my God. Give me the shot, baby. The final act begins. Oh, why do I gotta wait till next week? Oh my god. Oh, but we are finally here. We're finally here with the next arc, really. Vigilante Deku is here. I got so much to talk about. So, what do y'all want to talk about? <laughs> what do y'all want to talk about? Because I can talk about a lot of things right now after that freaking episode. So, um, hmm. Yeah, we're finally here now. This is finally the Vigilante Deku arc. Finally, starting next week. And I am so excited. I know all you guys are as well. I'm so excited for most of you guys that are even manga readers as well. I know you guys have been waiting for that last shot to be adapted. And my God, it looks beautiful. And just with him pulling down the mask. And I just can't wait to see everything animated. I just can't wait to see just everything with that look of the character and i just cannot wait for next week but just with this episode alone it looks like this was the last episode just reeling from everything that was shown in the war and just where we're kind of going now and yeah this was kind of the vestiges episode where deku was talking to them and they had a lot of really interesting things to say for the continuation for the story so first getting it out of the way deku is the last wielder for one for all now i never really kind of thought of that like it's just never been in my mind like oh is he the last wielder will he eventually pass it down or just anything else and i'm i'm not even counting anything that happened in heroes rising because if you've seen heroes rising you know how the ending went and just for all that that's happened but with this right here it just really hasn't just sparked anything in my mind or it just hasn't come across so with him actually being the last wielder and with even the fourth even saying that like oh with the last three quirks it was shortening his lifespan so that was crazy and it I wouldn't even say it makes sense, but it just gives more clarification on where we are at with One For All, the power of One For All. And it just gives more now with what Deku really has, like, really going on for now on and what his future kind of holds with Nana even talking to him. The first question, will you be able, do you have the power to kill Tomura Shigaraki? And that was really tough, especially coming from her, even though we all know, and at least that we've been shown, that she gave up her son like right like right before she was about to go fight all for one like like she didn't have a son at that time she knew what she was doing and whether she thought it was the right decision wrong decision whatever and it looked like in there like like she looked like she thought that she made the wrong decision but she is really really proud of just like all of the students and just just everybody that's learned like kind of along the way and just everything else just like what one for all with all might and what deku what they're all kind of building around and just with everything that's been going on with class 1a and just just everything this episode really needed to showcase what i really wanted to know and that what is the mindset of deku and what's just gonna make him go on this path which he will eventually leave which obviously he left so he eventually left ua which made sense with all for one going after him so that made a lot of sense and originally with my prediction i thought it was something else it was it was more shiraki based but that was before i even knew like freaking tartarus everybody from tartarus was gonna get broken out so that made more sense and more of a reason why deku would have to leave and the big thing he told everybody now i don't know how much detail he went in but the main thing that he told yeah i got my power from all might and it's a power that literally all for one wants to stop me and get freaking one for all so like it's really crazy that after everything and after all these seasons and just how much is that this has been kept a secret now that deku has had to basically kind of tell everybody a little bit that hey my quirk i got from all might like for real like it, it's was not expecting it. I really don't kind of have anything else to really go into it. There's a lot that was showing in here. And even with like Hawks and Best Genus coming in here, did I think All Might probably told him everything? I really think so. Like at this point, now realizing where we are right now and just with only maybe like another season or two left, it's gonna be really tough trying to keep this a secret. Like for real, like just with everything that's going on, it's really tough. So I don't know. 
I just really don't know what the future kind of holds for one for all specifically. We know that he is obviously the last wielder, but just with the hero society, just like really like there, there, I mean, there are still heroes there. There, there, there are. There's, there's battle scarred heroes and they will still continue to fight, but just the outlook on them and just everything else has been more like more dire than ever. And my hero academia is in a very, very bad position right now. Like just with everything that's going on with everything in the world and just everything. We got so much more to talk about. Vigilante Deku arc. I don't know really what else to kind of call it, but the Vigilante Deku arc starts next week. I am so excited to finally see that freaking look at the character adapted. So I just cannot wait. But thank you guys for watching my reaction. You guys are excited for the rest of my Hero Academia. And you guys like the channel, subscribe, comment down below. And as always, my name is Omzi and I am out.